Welcome to part two of connecting to Newgrange in Ireland. So for this part of, we are going to come together as a group for a meditation connecting to the sacred site, the sacred land of Newgrange. This meditation is for anyone that is wanting to reconnect to the land of Ireland, wanting to engage with the energies of Newgrange, specifically the energy vortex that's present beneath the land and also to re really understand and practice reciprocity to um, be in relationship with the earth and to upgrade our entire system, our whole being, so that we can raise our frequency and be in line with our authenticity and our most authentic life. So to prepare for this meditation, I invite you to take a really comfortable spot um, I prefer to be seated for these meditations. They are deeply relaxing, so it is easy to fall asleep. Maybe if you take a seat, you could find something to support your back so you can be comfortable. Um, if you do prefer to lie down, that's okay too. But no, if you do fall asleep or um, it's, not, it's not the end of the world. And just to remember that and trust that these meditations, this work is happening on a deeper level, maybe on a subconscious level. So um, just to keep that in mind as well. So to begin, I invite you to close your eyes if, if that feels safe to do so. And we're gonna come together as a group for each person that's here attending the live and those that are watching this at a future date or watching the recording are all very welcome. So we're going to come together as a group Imagine that there's an energetic bubble that surrounds our group. And this is going to be our group container for this work. So imagining that this bubble surrounds all of us here today, bringing us together in community and also allowing us to remain individuated. And we're going to ground ourselves. We're going to ground our group. So let's imagine a cord, an earth cord deep in the earth. And this earth cord can be any color, any texture that comes to mind. Sometimes I like to imagine almost like a tree trunk or like gold and shimmering energy and allow this core to travel up through the earth soil and attach the bottom of our group container. Grounding us. And we're gonna welcome in earth energy into our group container, into the bubble. We're also gonna welcome in universal energy. So let's imagine now above our group container, above the bubble, we're going to have a universal cord. And this is going to pour in the highest light resonance. It can look like gold or white energy, white light, full of sparkles. And it's going to pour into our container. And we're going to welcome in universal energy to collaborate today. We're also going to welcome in our team and spirit, spirit guides, our vaster wisdom. This is a space where our intuition gets to be available and in charge. This is a space where my truth gets to be shared, but your truth gets to be centered. Any information that doesn't resonate with you, you can at any time let go of and compost. And we're going to set some intentions for our session today. So we're going to set the intention where we're all welcome here, we're all safe, and we're going to learn more about ourselves. This is a space of exploration where your intuition gets to be centered. Let's set the intention to connect with the energy of Newgrange and enjoy a meaningful collaboration where we get to heal 
but so does the land. We're going to set specific intentions that any energy that is no longer serving us or our life path, our highest life path, any energy that is stagnant gets to be released in a way that is gentle and really sweet. And we're also going to set the intention to receive healing, blessings and upgrades from Newgrange so we can create more space and embody more of our essence and step more fully into authenticity. Lastly, let's set the intention to develop a sacred bond to the earth and the land of Ireland, one that is built on integrity, respect and gratitude. And if you have any personal intentions that you would like to set, you can do so now in your own mind. So let's imagine that these earth energies move up that air cord and they're really wanting to contribute to us unlocking these skills and these capacities and supporting the intentions that we set today. Feel how excited the earth is to contribute and make all these healing energies available to us. We're also going to welcome in universal energy to contribute its wisdom, deeper insight and support our intentions. And we've created a really beautiful group container. So let's bring our attention to our personal aura. And our personal aura is our own personal energy, energetic bubble that surrounds us. So it's our own magnetic field. And we can say that our aura is maybe, we'll say three foot all the way around us, 360. Just to get an idea of the size. So just bring your attention to your own aura. Just allow your intuition to feel into your aura, your own energy bubble. Notice if it wants to retract in certain places or constrict. Notice if it wants to expand or strengthen. And we're going to ground ourselves, bringing up our very own personal grounding cord. So let's imagine again, deep in the earth, a really beautiful earth cord that moves up through the earth soil to attach to the bottom of our feet. And we can allow this earth cord to get as wide as our aura. Just give your aura full permission just to exhale into the earth. We're also going to welcome in universal energy. So again, above our head, let's imagine beautiful divine light, maybe a golden light with full of sparkles, pouring over our aura, moving through the seven layers of our aura. And as this light moves down through our energy centers to the lower centers, it like the sun, it just burns away any energy that doesn't belong to us. And we're now going to recall our authentic energy. But before we do that, we're going to send back any energy that's inauthentic to us. And we can do this through the earth cord. So let's allow our intuition to find any inauthentic energies. We can even just set the intention, any energy that I'm holding on to that's inauthentic to me may be now released into the earth. And we can just watch as these inauthentic energies move into the earth. The earth is going to compost, recycle and heal energies that we release.
And now we're going to recall our own authentic energy. So I like to do this by using a symbol that represents my authentic energy. So choose a symbol now. Let your intuition show you a symbol that represents your authentic energies. It can be anything. It can be a geometric shape. It could be a star. It could be a seashell. It could be any symbol that comes to mind. There is no wrong answers here. And allow this symbol to sit in front of you. And we're going to invite our spirit guides, our vaster wisdom to recall our authentic energies from all dimensions of space and time. So let's imagine our guides now are going to recall our energies into that symbol. They're also going to recall any fragments of our identity or any fragments of our soul. And our guides are going to enhance our energies, bless our energies and update them. Notice what color your authentic energies are. Notice if they have their own vibe. And we're going to allow our guides to beam our energies in now from the bottom of our feet all the way up to the top of our head. Really slowly, just filling in any spaces, any gaps. And then just take, a, take note on how you feel now that you're resourced by the earth and the universe, that you've sent back any energy that's inauthentic and recalled your authentic energy. Just notice what it feels like to be in your own energy. And now we're going to, as a group, enter energetically, take an energetic tour of Newgrange. So we can imagine that as a group, we're walking up the gravel path of Newgrange. And in front of us, we can see there's the mound. We can see the curb stones. We can even see the guardians, the protector spirits that live here and protect these lands. And first, we're going to say hello to these energies, these beings. I perceive them as stoic, but incredibly kind. You can say your name, where you're from. We can even let them know what year it is, why we're here. And we're going to offer our gratitude and really honor these beings because of the important work that they do. So it's common in Buddhism. One of the traditions is to offer a sky full of flowers. So we can imagine any flowers that come into your mind. I like to imagine daisies, a whole sky full of daisies, just to representing our pure love and gratitude and our offering today. We can ask these guardians, what do they need or how can we support them? And again, as you ask these questions, just trust whatever answers come. Trust whatever you hear, trust your intuition. And sometimes we can hear requests for energetic offerings like love or gratitude. Um, you know, sometimes I like to even energetically offer sacred tobacco, crystals, new robes or clothing. And as these beings ask for 
loving energies. We can imagine that our heart is open and pouring loving energies over these guardians. If they ask for gratitude, we can offer a whole ocean of gratitude. And we're going to ask these beings if we can enter the passage tomb and collaborate with Newgrange. And usually when we honor and show up for the land and the beings that live here first, and we're not here to take, but rather we're here to give and to ask. Usually these energies are incredibly grateful and open up to us in a really big way. If you ever hear a no, I would respect that. And if I ever heard a no, I would leave, leave a meditation, leave the land physically. That's why it's important to respect your intuition. And as we receive permission, we can then move past the entrance stone of Newgrange, take a note of the spirals and the decorations and enter the passage tomb. And as we enter the passage tomb, we can see that the ground beneath us begins to open. And as it opens, we see a spiral staircase descending down deep into the earth. And we're going to follow this staircase moving down deep beneath the earth, descending to deeper levels, noticing how much space there is beneath the earth. And as you descend, you begin to feel the energy of the vortex. You're even starting to feel excited. Your cells are starting to enliven. Maybe you feel a little bit more joyful. As you anticipate the energy of the vortex. And as we reach the last step, we can look up and we find the vortex. And we, can we collaborate with these, with energy? It's always nice to make a symbol to help with our collaboration. So choose now a symbol that represents this energy vortex. And again, just allow your intuition to choose whatever symbol feels most supportive, auspicious or relevant. You may see a spiral or a shape Notice what color the vortex is. Sometimes you can see gold or blue or maybe a bright white light. Notice how immense and expansive this vortex is. Let's allow this symbol to get even bigger, take it up more space beneath the land. And we're going to really just take in how beautiful this vortex is, its value. And we're going to say hello to the vortex. We're going to introduce ourselves, our name, where we're from, maybe where we live, what year it is. And we're going to offer support and our gratitude and honor this vortex, this really powerful, generous and deeply healing energy. So again, let's just say thank you. 
Thank you for this energy, which is over 5,000 years old, most likely older. We're going to offer our gratitude. We can imagine that we offer our gratitude in a whole mountain of incense maybe frankincense and myrrh and just allow it to flow over Newgrange, beneath the earth. We can open our heart and pour loving energies and blessings to this vortex. And we can also ask this vortex how we can support it. how we can support it in whatever it's up to. And again, trust your intuition. We're gonna also ask, we're gonna share our hopes and dreams with the vortex why we're here. And we're going to ask the vortex if it has any healings, blessings and upgrades that may help us in our life path to connect into our highest light, connect into our highest path. If it has any upgrades or blessings that will help us to be, you know, just to become a better person or to raise our frequency so that we're aligned with who we truly are. And again, when we hear that, yes, we may proceed. And the vortex is going to support us now with these energetic upgrades. We can imagine that a, a divine white light pours out from the symbol of the vortex. And it pours into our solar plexus. And this white light is of the highest light resonance. It has a divine intelligence full of natural healing properties. And it knows us on a holistic level. It knows us deeply on a soul level and as well on a human level. And as this energy moves into our solar plexus, it begins to swirl from left to right, moving up the body from the solar plexus to our third energy, from our third energy center up into our heart chakra, filling our chest, our back, moving into our arms and our hands. And this energy just gently dissolves any, any energy that's stagnant, any energy from the past, upgrading our energy. This energy continues to swirl upwards into our throat chakra, in our fifth energy center. You can imagine this white light as it moves clockwise up through our chin, our ears, our nose, Again, dissolving any, any limiting energies, any energies that are stagnant or no longer serving us, upgrading our will, upgrading our truth, our connection to our truth, communication, 
And this energy continues to swirl upwards into our mind's eye. Our sixth energy center just between the brows. Dissolving any energy that is blocking our highest vision. Upgrading our energy so that we can see clearly, so that we're connected to our highest timeline. And we can take steps that are aligned with our essence. This energy continues to move and swirl up into our crown, into our seven energy center at the top of our head. Again, dissolving any energy that's blocking our connection to the divine, to our spiritual self, making lots of space for our essence to be embodied more fully, enhancing our connection with our higher self so that we can receive direction, channel, truth, receive downloads and blessings in a way that feels really natural and supportive. And we can imagine now that this light continues to travel above our head, all the way up into the, in the universe to the highest chakras. And this light is going to connect us to the highest light resonance, connecting us to the truth of all that we are. And now bring your attention back to the symbol of the vortex. And we're going to watch now as the vortex sends more light out into our solar plexus. And this time, this energy has a slightly denser quality to it to complement and honor the human experience, the human makeup, to allow us to stay grounded and connected to the earth and our human nature as we integrate really high, the highest blessings, the highest light and upgrades. And we're gonna allow this energy to swirl around again, left to right in our solar plexus, our stomach area. This is our power center, governs sense of self, self-esteem, self-worth. We're gonna allow these energies of a lighter nature and a denser nature, grounding us and uplifting us at the very same time to heal and evolve our solar plexus so that we can move in the world, we can go about our day being our most authentic self with love, with confidence, and with true power. And we're going to allow this light now to move downwards in the body, spiraling down into our second energy center. This is our sacral chakra, just, just below our navel, our, our belly button. And this light is going to infuse the energy of our second energy center, dissolving any energetic debris that is inauthentic to who we are now, dissolving any stagnant energy, allowing it to be gently released. And upgrading that chakra. upgrading our energy so that we can enjoy more authentic relationships. We can enjoy a more authentic relationship with people, with work, with ourselves. And allow that light to keep traveling down to the base of the spine. And again, enhancing and upgrading and healing our first energy center, our root chakra traveling down through our legs, our knees, into our feet, dissolving any energy that's dense and stagnant that's ready to be released, upgrading our energy so that we're aligned with who we are on a soul level, 
as well as who we are on a human level. And we're gonna allow this energy to move below our feet into the earth, moving down through the lower chakras. We can imagine this light now moves from our body as it spins, as it spirals in a clockwise fashion. Allow it to sink into the bones, to heal the blood, the skin tissue, any, our muscles and organs. They're also receiving upgrades and healings allow the, this energy to infuse our cells and allow our cells to be enlivened. As Newgrange works to upgrade our physical body, we can allow our body to become brighter, vibrating at a higher frequency and just soak up all this light all this healing energy filling in any spaces any gaps allow it to move into our aura our energy bubble to infuse the seven layers of our aura and we're going to allow this work to update and you know, so hit the reset button, reset our self-concept and identity. This work is going to heal and evolve how we move through relationships. And it's also going to reset our belief structures and our reality. Newgrange is going to support us in grounding ourselves. So let's refresh our grounding cord, bringing up a brand new grounding cord deep in the earth and allowing this cord to travel up through the soil and attach to the bottom of our feet. We can imagine that there's a magnet in front of us and a magnet behind us and just start releasing any energy that feels inauthentic, anything that feels dense or stuck into these magnets. Newgrange is going to end this healing so we can imagine that we integrate these this light these healings these upgrades really gently and sweetly we can even set the intention that this work started one month ago so we've had one month to gently uh, integrate these upgrades We're going to recall our authentic energy one more time. So bringing that symbol that represents your authentic energy, bringing it out in front of you. And our guides are going to support us along with Newgrange in recalling our authentic energy, recognizing that we just made so much more space to embody our authentic energies, our essence. So let's have our guides and Newgrange recall our authentic energies into that symbol. They're going to also recall any fragments of our identity and our soul. They're going to enhance, empower and bless our energies and update them to who we are now. And beam them in from the bottom of our feet all the way up to the top of our head, filling in any spaces and any gaps. So I invite you to take a pulse, continue with your eyes closed, just take, take note of how you feel now in comparison to how you felt when you started this meditation. And we're going to thank Newgrange and bless Newgrange. So again, let's imagine a whole ocean of gratitude offered to Newgrange. We can offer a gift of healing to Newgrange if that feels supportive, using earth energies to wash over the symbol. The earth's gonna wash away any density, any energy that's blocked or stuck. 
waking and even imagine the element of water really nourishing and soothing water washing over new grange washing over that symbol of the vortex we can also welcome in the element of fire to wash over the symbol the fire is going to transmute any karmic energies any energies of enmeshment or any cords or projections let's welcome in the uh, element of wind and allow a final clearing and let's offer a whole rainbow of energies to pour into the symbol of the vortex to pour into new range and we can give new range full permission to ask for whatever it needs and whatever it wants from the earth and from the universe And we can give permission for healing to happen. So we're going to say thank you and goodbye for now. So as we walk back up the stairs, we're going to ascend the spiral staircase one more time. Coming back up to the surface of the earth, entering that passage tomb again into the chamber. And as we reach the chamber, we can see and watch as the earth beneath us begins to close protecting the vortex we're going to leave the passage leave the mound we're going to thank the guardians and again sending lots of gratitude energy lots of love we're going to bless the guardians And we're going to thank them for their support and access to Newgrange and again for the work that they do in protecting the space. And as we leave Newgrange, we're going to make sure that we pick up any energetic debris that belongs to us. So let's imagine the element of wind. We can imagine wind moving from the, from the east of Newgrange moving below and above the surface picking up any of our energy any energetic debris that doesn't belong to Newgrange and watch as it moves from east to west and the universe is going to carry this energy to be recycled by the universe and as we leave Newgrange we're going to come back into our group container We're going to send back each other's energy. We're going to recall our authentic energies. Ask our guides to bless them and update them and then beam them in. From the bottom of our feet all the way up to the top of our head. So we're a resource and in our own energy. We're going to thank the earth for its contributions and wisdom, and deeper insights. And we're going to bless the earth. And just as we bless the earth, the earth blesses us right back. We're going to thank the universe and bless the universe. And just as we bless the universe, the universe blesses us right back. We're going to thank our spirit guides, our vaster wisdom. And this healing energy from today, we're going to send it back in time throughout our lineage so that our ancestors also get to be free, get to enjoy these energetic upgrades, increase permission to be authentic, to receive joy and healing and blessings. We're going to allow this healing energy to evolve our present time, present reality. And we're also going to send this healing energy, imagine that we send it forward in time so that we're connected to our highest timeline. We can ask ourselves and ask even Newgrange 
what's the number? What's the number of weeks or the number of months before these upgrades are fully integrated? And you may hear a number and you can again use your intuition to gauge if that means weeks or months, it might be best to put it in your calendar for both and just track your progress. Tra track the integration of these healings and blessings and upgrades. And whenever you feel ready, you can open your eyes and come back to the video. Thank you so much for showing up for the land and your willingness to connect to, you know, who you truly are, your willingness to connect to the land of Ireland and energy that seems bigger and that is bigger than us maybe it's really vulnerable to be curious so um i hope you're proud of yourself because you just did really big work and um i wish you only the best <laughs>